All right, guys, so we're here at the UK Games Expo. We're here with Phalanx, and we're going to be talking about some of the fantastic board games that you've got to show off here today on the show. So, walk us through some of them. Let's go with this one first. So, okay, take us through this. Yeah. So, this is a new game um, called Rocket Men from Martin Wallace. He's done a few games with us. It's just available now on retail following a successful Kickstarter. Uh, in this game, it's a game of modern space exploration. So, you play the likes of Elon Musk or Richard Branson, uh, and the objective is to uh, build up your deck. It's a deck building game to launch successful missions to get a space hotel in Earth's orbit or a base on the moon or meteor mining on around Mars, getting victory points um, and building up your deck further. Uh, essentially, there's a bit of risk taking because you have to successfully launch a rocket uh, without things going wrong and things will often go wrong. But if you're successful, you can build up your engine to think things going forward. So it's proving very popular here. It uh, plays in about two hours. It's got a solitaire mode. So it plays two to four players. Um, and it's a classic Martin Wallace deck building game. Fantastic stuff. So what have we got over here as well? So it takes through this. So this is uh, Successors. It's uh, another one of our Kickstarters. Um, this is the fourth edition. So we, we ran a Kickstarter uh, a few years ago, and it's now being arriving on people's front doors this week. Um, it's the fourth edition of Successors, which is widely considered to be the best multiplayer historic war game out there. Um, basically, thematically, it's the fall of um, the uh, Empire of Macedonia. Alexander the Great has just died. His tomb is in Babylonia. You play one of uh, up to five factions trying to be the successors you control generals um, and over the course of uh, a game and again we've expanded it from four players to two to five players you'll play certain cards you can do the events you can do the actions you can move around you can gain political influence uh, form alliances fight each other evade each other to try and become the uh, successor to Alexander's empire um, as you can see we've given it a good bit of balance magic so all the minis are really good looking we think I the know board, they are really really cool the board's yeah. very colourful um, it's got all the bells and whistles that you could want um, it's been our most successful Kickstarter um, and it's going very well so we're going to now open pre-orders uh, and people can pre-order it to, to get it if they didn't do the Kickstarter to be delivered later this year or early next year so this yeah. is success is. Uh, yep, so fantastic. You potentially will have seen this actually on our site, so if you want to come and check it out, make sure to go and see on tabletop.com. So, can you take us through this one as well? This looks really cool. Yeah, this is Brett Wilder. So this is a game we're hoping to launch Kickstarter on next year, so it's a prototype in, in development. This is the first time we've shown it in the UK. Um, it captures a kind of period in English history around the 7th and 8th century, when you had the seven different kingdoms of England. Uh, working to try and become overall king if you're overall king you are the Brett Wilder uh, so in this game uh, you'll play one of those kingdoms um, you'll play different events over each season you'll be dealing with Viking raids uh, on your turn you'll be doing certain actions to maybe harvest to develop your local economy to develop your armed forces to move around to bribe the Vikings overall with the objective of becoming the Brett Wilder it's kind of a um, the rules are still in development but it's not like one of our more complex games it's one of the low and low medium complexity games area control game as you can see we've gone for like a visually stunning look inspired yeah, yeah. by the, uh, the Lewis Chessmen if you go to the British Museum you'll see them um, it's getting a lot of attention because it looks really nice and we think say. it's going to play really well it's going to appeal to a lot of people because it's not it's not a pure war game it's very much uh, more like a, an area control uh, lighter type of game I was going to say this looks absolutely gorgeous as someone who loves the sort of Anglo-Saxon sort of Viking period I think this is just brilliant yeah. um, so Oh my god, I can't wait to see this. Yeah, um, so another cool. one of these we've got to look at is this one over here, which is Nanty Narkings, I believe it is. Yes, yeah, Nanty Narking. This is Nanty Narking. So this is a game that's been out for us for a while. We had a Judux version. We've now just released the uh, retail version with minis. Both this and Rocket Men you can get for about 30 quid. Um, so very um, cheap value, cheap price. Um, it's a reskin of an old Martin Wallace game. It's a Martin Wallace game uh, called Discworld. Yeah, and I remember playing that. It was good yeah, fun, yeah. It's a very good game. And it's set in kind of Dickensian London. You play like characters like Sherlock Holmes, Moriarty, uh, Fagan. Um, and you're trying to complete a secret objective, all the while trying to guess what your opponent's secret objectives are. Playing cards. It's got quite a lot of take that at it, quite a lot of laughs. It's a lighter game. We're playing about an hour, hour and a half teach it in about five minutes um, a lot of fun yeah I remember playing the original and also we've got another let's play of this on our YouTube channel as well so you can go and check that out so we've also got fire in the sky which is over there so I'm going to guide Justin backwards so hopefully he doesn't fall over it's all good it's all good not the chair we're all fine we're all fine oh 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 there we go we're all good thank you so yes fire in the sky this is very cool as well yeah so this is a game that was um, an, an older game that we've redone so we've um, 
we worked all the graphic design, we worked all the artwork, given it, we've taken like um, the old American maps of the Pacific and redone it all uh, to give it this really kind of like jump out, stunning look. This is a strategic level game based on the Pacific uh, theater in the Second World War, 1941 to 1945. Mm -hmm. There's a number of different scenarios, but in any of them, you're gonna play either the Japanese or the Allied, so the Americans and the British Commonwealth. Um, you, and you can do the whole gamut from attacking Pearl Harbor all the way up to Iwo Jima and when the bomb dropped, um, or smaller scenarios within that. It's a hex encounter game, so you'll be moving uh, Pacific, your fleets of aircraft carriers, air units, land units, fighting it out, you have a separate board to do fighting. Um, it's, it's on the heavier end of uh, the games that we, that, we, that we release. It's got a lot of depth to it. You're gonna get a lot of hours of play out of it. Um, and if you want to recreate the Pacific theater, <laughs> this is a game for you. Oh yeah, it looks spot on. I know a lot of people in the, in the community will really, really like the idea of this one. So yeah, if you're here at the show. pre-order from our website. You can just get it pre-order on our website. Fantastic. And this week you can order it on our website. It's, it's available now. Yeah, so brilliant stuff. So if you're coming to UK Games, so make sure to come and check out the games from Phalanx. We've got light games, we've got medium games, we've got heavy games yeah. as well. And also, just again, that Brett Wilder, oh my God, that looks amazing. I cannot wait to see that come up. Uh, but yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you demo any of the games here, you'll be entered into prize draw to win a copy, free copy of Successes as well. So Perfect stuff. So. Come by. Yeah. So yeah, make sure to come and check us out here at UK Games Expo 2021. Uh, I'm going to move on and get another video. We'll see you very, very soon.